Now I've got a bicycle wheel with handles on it. I don't think I want to ride this bike, but uh, it does show me some interesting things about what happens when you talk about force and mass and motion in a circular way. Because see, I can spin that wheel and it goes around and around. It has a velocity which could be measured in revolutions per minute, RPM, or it could be measured in how many units of degrees, like 10 degrees per second or something like that, how fast it goes would be measured in circular motion. And the mass would be part of the picture here. The mass, the wheel has mass. So just like the cart, there's a certain number of molecules that make this up. And to make it move, I put a force on it. Watch. You know, what's interesting about this is that the wheel demonstrates a whole different type of motion. Because you can see it going around and around. What you can't see is that I'm having to put some force on it. Watch what happens if I take this wheel and set it over here so I'm not holding it. Well, wow, that's kind of different, isn't it? Now, the first law says it'll stay in motion until something acts on it from the outside. That's working, isn't it? It's spinning, it's staying there by itself until something happens from the outside. Now, one outside force that's working on it is friction. Things are rubbing on it, so you can see it's slowing down. And of course, if I pick it up, that stops it too. But you'll also notice that it wobbles. Why does it wobble? Because the weight here is not distributed evenly. This wheel has been dropped a few times. The axle has been bent. There are some differences in weight around the outside, and so it wobbles. What can you think of that does this? Well, yeah, your bike, your car. How about the Earth? The Earth spins like that. So uh, does the Earth do this? Yeah, it's got a name. It's called nutation. It wobbles like that. Because the Earth is not perfectly circular. It has some bumps and mountains and things like that on it. And so it wobbles a little bit. 